I'm with Colin Thompson from Dugard. Uh, today we're talking about a new product that's been added to the company's portfolio recently, the Hanwha sliding head lathes, of, of which uh, you started at the company about the same time that that product actually uh, came in. Colin, tell us, or, or our audience that don't know, just give us 20 seconds overview of, of that range. Okay, the Hanwha product range is Korean built, uh, wholly built in the Korean factory from ground up, not subbed out to other areas. Uh, we product range ranges from a 7mm diameter right the way up to a 45mm on a sliding head which is very unique and we're not stretching a machine to get there okay it's a true designed 42mm guide bush 45mm non guide bush sliding head I had a flick through the brochure last time I was here and I, it was pretty thick there was there was loads and loads of models uh, what's the reason for having having so many differing uh, models to offer we can offer anything from medical automotive, aerospace, all the sectors out there now, general subcontracting, we can go from low-end XP style machines, which is very simple, platen style machine with subspindle, right the way up to the STL range machines, which is a turret machine with a platen with Y-axis on there as well. How would they fare when it comes to the reliability? We all know that the sliding head market is is about that, you know, pressing the button and walking away and, and letting the machine do the work. Are, are these machines uh, capable of that, not just from day one, but, but throughout their life? Yes, definitely. I've actually got uh, customers in the UK. Where Hanwar is not new to the UK, it's just resurrected in the UK again. Um, they've actually got machines dating back 1991, still in full production today. So that gives you an idea of what the quality of the machine is for longevity of parts. And would they be holding tolerance or yeah. tight tolerances? Yeah, the customer in particular I'm thinking of, he actually runs stainless steel all day, every day. And he's holding uh, 15 microns on the turn diameter, even today on that machine, which is still pretty impressive. We're quite unique. We can actually uh, mix and match it's quite a modular design on some of the machines. But what we're trying to do is focus on set areas for the UK. Seems to be the UK is very set in the way they want to be. And, and what would that be, a man with your experience? What, what's, what's the sort of run-of-the-mill sliding head solution? Uh, from Hanwar, we look at the XE20, uh, the range of the XEs up to the 36 uh, mils. We've got the STs, STLs, with a turret in range. Um, and then it, there is a big market in the UK for a nice, basic, simple sliding head. So we're bringing in the XP range of machines as well, which is very good, very so cost effective. So you've even got machines with, with the turrets on them, with B-axis units, all, all fully automated and integrated? Yep, totally. We've got full uh, five-axis, B-axis controls on them as well. So, What about your, uh, let's talk about your chip control? Yeah. Let's talk about that. That's a big point at the moment. You know, people want to keep their machines running. Is that something that you can do with the Hanwha machine as well? It's literally just come out in the last two months. I was lucky enough to go over to Korea and watch it in February, watch the prototype versions of it. But we have now got our own chip uh, control software. It's called PCR, Programmable Chip uh, Removal. What Hanwha have decided as a global group we're not going to charge money for that uh, privilege of having that feature because it's a feature on a sliding head. But having work sliding heads myself, you need with some of the real nasty materials, even the plastics, just to get the machine to run that unmanned time longer. You know. Um, for you, the sliding head market, which, which you correctly said you've been involved in for some time, we've seen it grow, and um, we've seen it grow because of the, the capabilities of the machines have changed, haven't they? Do you therefore think that, that uh, regardless of whether you can take business from your competition, there is now a, big mar a bigger market for this type of machine? And is that really the aim here at Dugard, to get into a market that's growing? It is definitely the aim. It's a marketplace that seems to have been growing for the last five to six years exponentially, year on year, the numbers are going up and up in sliding head. And it seems to be more people are switching on of getting the part off complete. And that is key, again, with labour uh, at the moment in this country, staff's at a premium, we need to get more parts off complete without passing it around the shop. And that's where the sliding head comes in with the multi-axes we have to do that.